So every day I turn on the, the news in the morning, get ready for the report. I get all sorts of contributors here and I'm just saying and on the five minute half hour news by guys like, you know, Zwecker and Stella and Sneed and you know, Roper and tell giving them I'm giving them what they never give me. They hear stuff from me and then they write it. They don't give me any uh, you know, any credit at all. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give them all the credit in the world. I don't have an AP machine. I don't even know if they have AP machines anymore. But we get our news from all the sources, from CNN to Fox to television to local to everything else, to newspapers, uh, to twits. Well, no, not from twits, but it sounded really, really modern me saying twits and stuff like that. But I want to thank everybody. And here's what I read today. Pittsburgh's the 29th uh, best city in the world, which makes it the number one city in the United States. They ranked all the cities. Melbourne, Australia is number one because of the culture and everything else. What do they got? Just white people living there? What kind of culture do they have over there? They throw boomerangs, they look out at the at the ocean, and then, and then they go back and say, thank God this country's all white? What does that have to do with anything? I mean, seriously, think about this. 29th, that's the first city. Chicago wasn't listed in New York. The most livable city in the United States is ranked 29th in the world. Hey, go screw them. Ask them if they'd like to live in Cleveland for a year from where they're living now in some third world country. They'll say, in a heartbeat, I'm not saying, brought to you by Altoff Industries, heating and air conditioning.